I am back with another Timu haul. And what was weird about this order is I got five packages delivered from Amazon that were part of my Timu order. This one in particular, look how thin that is. I may have to open that with you so we can see it fill with air together. I don't even know what this one is. And then of course, I got my standard Timu order. It doesn't have the cute little Timu stickers on it though, so a little disappointing, but it's still a good size. Okay, let's go. I kinda wanna start with this vacuum seal one. What could it be? Oh, maybe? Okay, nope, not leggings. It was a super cute kind of Lycra-y sweetheart neckline top that was stretchy. You can see me pulling the fabric and it's retracting. Kind of like the same material as their sports bras. And I loved it. I thought it was really flattering and fit really great. So I'm probably gonna keep that. And then if you saw my video last time, I had ordered these denim floral pants with pockets. We'll talk about pockets too. Last haul and they were a size small and I just felt like they were a little constricting. So I ordered them in a size up this time, a medium. They're much better fitting this time. The length is good. Um, they feel good, all those good things. There's still not a lot of give in them. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because they're not the most comfortable from a movement perspective, but I really like how they look. So I'm debating, what do you think? Okay, this one really surprised me because it was a gamble when I ordered it, but coming out, I just loved it. It fits so cute. I love the color. It's got the no slip grip line. I've said that like 10 times. You haven't seen all my outtakes on that. <laughs> and it has pockets. The length is really good. I don't love my legs, so I don't love things that are super short. I felt this was a really comfortable length for me. It has adjustable straps in the back so you could tighten or loosen those. This was a huge win and a huge surprise. For what it's worth, this was one of those items that came directly from Amazon. Also, do you like my bruise? Yeah, I ran into the bench that's at the corner of our bed in the middle of the night, so I thought I'd just point it out and get it out of the way in case you see it in other clips. Okay, you know I am looking for a denim dress. This is maybe my six or seven denim dress I ordered from Timu, and this one just, it wasn't fitted enough on the top, so maybe if you are larger structured, um, boned or chested, um, you know, this might work for you. It just made me feel kind of frumpy. Uh, just didn't love the fit of it for me. The length was pretty good. I actually really liked the wash on it. I thought the color was really good, but just, I felt like a big frumpy dump in it. I don't know, I'm about to give up on denim dresses from Timu. Really anywhere, I've tried them from Amazon, I've tried them from, if you have a denim dress recommendation, let me know. Okay, I know this look is super trendy and I also knew it was not gonna work for me, but I had to try it anyway. So the vest was too gapy up at the top. I would have to wear a tank top or something underneath of it. And then it was really short. So I don't know if that is the style. I think you're supposed to wear this without another shirt under it though, right? Or at least have that option. And I don't think I'd be able to because of the distance between the vest and the pants and then also just how loose it was. The pants were good at my waistline, which is good. I have a narrower waist, but they were too tight around my hips. I am pear-shaped, so I have to take that into account when I order things. The pants were also pretty see-through. You can see the tag right through it. I understand the cargo pants style, but don't they also have pockets up at the top and not just at the knee? I mean, I guess I could lean and put my hand in my pocket way down here, or maybe I could put them in both pockets. Maybe I could be an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Oompa Loompa doopity doo. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if the color is right for me with this one. Let me know in the comments, but I love the pattern. It just makes me happy. There's big bees and it looks like spring. To be clear, this is not embroidered. There's no raised elements. Everything is flat. It's a little bit of a trip because even up close, it looks like it should be. I guess because of the shadows in the pattern, it has that effect. So it's really kind of a mind trick. It's a thinner sweater, so it wouldn't keep you super warm, but it would definitely be a great transitional piece. I'm debating about keeping it. What do you think? Okay, I got this, I called it like a skater tank uh, last time because of the trim. It reminds me of the 70s or just kind of a throwback vibe with the white and the pink trim. I got it in the red and the blue on last haul and they were sold out of the pink so I got the pink this time. I feel like the pink for me it should be a bolder pink. It maybe washes me out a little bit so I'm gonna return it but I really think the top is cute and for the right skin tone it could be just adorable so you might want to consider it. Okay here's another kind of retro throwback piece. This one Timu was targeting me hard on. I kept seeing it over and over again. I was like, dude, Timu, it's already in my cart. <laughs> like, 
I'm gonna get it. It just kind of has that retro vibe to me. It is embroidered unlike that other B sweater, so they are textured pieces on there. I think it's very sweet. Um, it maybe is too old looking, I don't know. I think you could wear it with a lot of different colors on the bottom, um, denim, white. I think you could pull any of the colors from it, like the orange or blue. It is see-through with the little holes in it, so you'll have to wear a nude bra under it, of course. Okay, I got a twofer here. I ordered this top last time in black. I just love the darting at the waist and how it's nice and cropped, but not super short, so it doesn't show anything. I love how the armpit holes are nice and wide but they don't show anything so it must be the way that the pattern is it kind of confuses me it's a little mind-blowing <laughs> you should be able to see your bra when the armpit holes are that big but you don't it's it's a beautiful thing and then this skirt oh, you know me I'm still trying to find a denim skirt just like I'm trying to find a denim dress and this isn't it either I thought if I looked for one that had an elastic waistband that might fit a little bit better and it certainly has a little more give but it's still with my pear shape and having the smaller waist and the bigger hips, it's bunching up right below my waistline because I'm just bigger than the skirt is. Length is good, doesn't have pockets, but that's okay, I wasn't gonna keep it anyway. How do I look when I flip my hair? How about like this? I have no idea why I did that, I'm so weird. Timu is killing it with the sports bras. I don't know why they're doing so well, it's kind of mind blowing, but look at this one. I would actually wear this one as either a top or a sports bra. Look at the back design. Isn't this so cute? Let's see how supportive it is. Uh, yeah, that works. I primarily do rowing, walking, and lifting weights, and so this would totally work for all of that. I don't know if this would work for a run, but for what I'm doing, this is gonna be great. Okay, Timu totally influenced me to get this. When am I gonna wear this? I kind of love it though. It's got a couple of mesh panels on the front and also the back, little cap sleeves, a hood. When, when do I wear this? I mean, maybe to a concert? It's not gonna provide a lot of warmth. It looks cute, it looks really cute. Maybe I wear it when I first go to work out and I haven't quite warmed up all the way. Oh yeah, maybe then. I think I like it, I think it's really cute. I'm turning 50, can I wear this kind of thing? First. <laughs> this thing in brown, you've also seen in black for my very first Timu haul, and you saw it in gray last Timu haul because I keep buying it because it's freaking adorable and it fits and it works. Again, Timu is killing it in the sports bra department. Who knew? So as I've mentioned, we do go to a lot of concerts and a lot of them are restrictive with what you can bring into the show. I did get a clear backpack last year from Timu, but when I took it to the concert, it was too big. And so I was looking for something a little bit smaller. I opted for the gray material just for fun. They had a couple different options. It's got room for water bottles on the side and there's a pocket in front. It has adjustable straps in the back, and I think it's gonna be perfect for what I'm looking for. Okay, jumpsuits, love them or hate them, I love them. I wasn't sure about this one though. This one came from Pretty Garden, which is actually a brand I see on Amazon quite a bit, so this was fulfilled by Amazon. I'm really confused about how Timu and Amazon work together. If anybody knows, let me know. But regardless, this one fit in all the right places. It just didn't seem like it did that much for me. Maybe it was the color, maybe just the style. It had a lot of darting and pleats. It didn't have pockets. Um, there was a little waist panel that maybe dropped the waist too much for my style around the waist. The material was nice. It was like a jersey t-shirt material, so it felt comfortable. I think for the right person, you might love this. It just, I don't know, didn't really do a whole lot for me. It was a little blah. Okay, here's another jumpsuit that just didn't do it for me. I like the pattern. The material is super thin, weird, like waxy, I don't know. The waistline fit, it was a little gappy up at the top. Again, I'm smaller boned and chested on the top, so if you've got a little more on the top, that might work for you. One thing I've noticed with a lot of the Timu pieces is they do have that really long torso. Like, look how long this torso is. It's kind of crazy. I do like the bag. It, goes, it shows off the shoulders and has a little button in the back. No pockets, but again, I wasn't gonna keep it anyway, so oh well. Okay, I had to measure the distance from my actual crotch to the sewed crotch. <laughs> Look how much room there is. What is that, like five inches? <laughs> what size small person has a torso that's five inches longer? I've been looking for a summer sweater that I can wear when we go into a restaurant or go to the movies. You know, it's always chilly. You just want an extra layer in the summer. And I don't always want a denim jacket, so I wanted an alternative. I kind of like this one. I'm a little worried that it might be too cropped, so I want to try it on with something that's not a one piece to see actually where the waist hits. <laughs> Whoops, I got it in sage green too. 
I think I have all the colors now. Am I the only one that buys in multiples when you find something you like and just gets all the colors? Okay, these pants, however, are the biggest miss. They do have that fold over V-line waist that I really like, but that's where it stops. Oh, and they have pockets, I like that too. But the material is like reflective and shiny. I don't know why they didn't use the same material that they use in the sports bras, that would have been perfect. And it just has this weird feel and fit to it. And the length, let's talk about the length. Okay, yes, I am a shorter girl, and so if you are longer, these might be perfect for you. But for me, they came with built-in socks. I guess maybe then I don't have to wear socks. But no, these are a no, a big no. Okay, here's another cardigan. This obviously isn't going to go with as many things as the white one would, but I think it's really cute. It's much thicker than that white one was, and it's got these cute little pearl-esque buttons on it, and it's in style with the whole lady cardigan trend that's happening right now. I think I might keep it, it's so cute. Okay, how about a bathing suit? As with many things from Timu, I find myself confused about how to put them on. So you can see me struggling a little bit with the ruffle here. Also the cups on the top of the suit, I was trying to organize those because they were all disheveled. Okay, but once I figured that all out, check the coverage, is my butt hanging out? It's not, that's good. <laughs> I actually think it's a pretty cute suit. I actually like the color. Green's my favorite color, so you'll see a lot of green things in my videos. And it has a nice little band of skin showing, but not too much. I'm turning 50. I thought it was pretty flattering. This is something I'm considering keeping. This one I was so excited about getting, and I was right. It's a bathing suit cover-up. I've been looking for something like this. It's super thin, and when I first opened the Timu package, I was afraid this was the cardigan. I'm like, this is made of nothing. But as a bathing suit cover, it's perfect and you can see how it covers me but it has all these little holes in it it kind of looks like a little white eyelet dress on its own my suit is obviously asymmetrical so it gives a weird kind of look underneath it but you get the idea right i think it's really cute i'm super excited about this one the material is a little weird i will say it feels a little gauzy but i don't mind it i think it's fine Okay, sadly, no. Um, I like the idea of it. I like the color. The orange makes me really happy. I love the ruffles. I love the little buttons in front. Um, but the drop waist is just not working for my body shape. So um, it just kind of shows my little pooch and uh, just emphasizes the things I don't want to emphasize. I also wasn't able to do the zipper by myself. So keep that in mind. I think on the, again, on the right body shape, this could be very cute. The color is stunning. It just was a mist for me, but it could work for you. It is fully lined, so it's not see-through at all. I think for the right person, it could be really cute, but it just was a mist for me. Here's another one piece that came from Amazon, and I like this one better than the green one. And hey, it's got pockets. The material feels really soft. It feels almost like pajamas, something that you could just lounge around in. I think it's supposed to be like that TikTok viral jumper. It feels really nice. It feels super comfortable. It's a little long, but that's okay. I just Need to keep that in mind with my footwear. I don't know if I love, love this one. I don't know if it's the color that's a little muted or just the style of it doesn't flatter my body perfectly. It's super comfortable. It's a maybe for me. I'm gonna think about this one. So as I mentioned, we like to go to concerts. I've been using a clear fanny pack when we go because the backpack was too big. I like this one because it could be used as a cross body bag instead of a fanny pack and the fanny pack just isn't working for me. They had a couple different material color styles. I went for the brown, I thought that'd be fun. It has a couple of mesh pockets so you can keep things a little bit organized in it and I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, what do you think of this crossbody bag? Is this like too grandma-y? It's like, it looks like an old carpet bag or an old couch or something, but I kind of like it. What do you think? It doesn't have any interior pockets though, which is a little weird. I mean, even that plastic one had a couple of interior places on the inside. The strap is interesting. I kind of like the graphic on the inside. I wonder if you could turn it inside out. No, it doesn't seem to be working. Duty? <laughs> duty? Does it say duty? Is it supposed to be beauty? I mean, I know it's Timu, but, huh? <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm not gonna turn it inside out. I don't want to. I don't want to be wearing a. I don't want to be wearing a bag that says duty. <laughs> also, what is my hair doing in this clip? <laughs> If you're enjoying this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I recently hit a thousand subscribers and got monetized. I can't believe it. You guys are so overwhelming with your encouragement. Thank you so much. I read all your comments and I just love hearing from all of you. Your support and encouragement just means the world to me. My next goal is to hit 2,500 subscribers. I'd love for you to be one of them. I'm turning 50 this year and I'm all about trying new things. So I'd love for you to join me on my journey. Okay, I love all these girls that are graduating in their cute little white dresses in the fields, and I want to do that. Okay, but not this dress. This is a mess. When I was putting it on, I was thinking, 
gosh, it's a little tight, but it got on just fine. And then I saw the zipper on the side. So know that if you get this dress, it's a side zipper. Just the fit wasn't good for me. Again, I'm smaller on the top and this one is just wider and bigger on the top. I like the length. I kind of like the style of it. If you're broader or bigger on the top, this might actually look really cute on you. I just felt like I was swimming in it. So it was a miss for me, but I think on the right person, this one could be really cute. Okay, here's a cute little romper. I actually thought it was a shirt and I put it on and then there was a crotch in my waist. And then I was like, oh no, it's a romper. <laughs> put it on all over again um not great with the bra friendliness i'm just wearing a regular bra and it's showing so i guess you're gonna have to wear a strapless with this um it's got the shirt back or is that the front i don't know uh, no pockets it's a little on the short side i think it's kind of cute i don't know actually i'm not sure if i have this on the right way because there's no tag indicating which is the front or the back so maybe i should flip it yeah no i don't think that's any better <laughs> I think it was, I think the other way was probably the right way. I know a lot of you asked last time why I'm so obsessed with pockets. Well, how else do you know where the front or the back is? <laughs> the direction of the pockets tells you which way is front or back. <laughs> okay, you ready for it? You ready for the big floofy dress? Okay, check this one out. It's got this one little ruffle on the front and then a lot of ruffles down below. I think this dress is really special. It appears to be bra friendly. I just had to do a little adjustment. I'm wearing a normal bra and you really can't see it. So that is a big win. There's no give on the material. So it's either gonna fit you or it's not. And it happened to fit me, so that was a surprise. No pockets, but I wouldn't expect any in a dress like this. This dress makes me really happy. I think it's super fun. One thing that was a little off was the zipper on the top had a metallic exposed zipper that was silver, and the zipper on the skirt was a red enclosed zipper. So it was like they were going for two different styles with the zipper, but maybe you're not supposed to see the zipper on the skirt. I don't know. I do love this and it makes me happy. Okay, let me do the spin test and see how these ruffles flow. Oh yeah, that's some good spin. It is more of a blue red, and I think for my skin tone, I look better in orange reds. So that's the only hesitation I I have here but it's a very strong maybe okay i was seriously going to give up on looking for a denim dress on timu even though they have like dozens and dozens of them and then i found this one i think this one might be it look at these ruffle sleeves and the fit is good the color's great no pockets but i'm learning to live without pockets it's fine i'll get over it like all the denim from timu it's very stiff this is actually a pretty thick denim so i wouldn't wear it on a hot summer day but i could see wearing it to a country concert where it's going to be getting cooler at night it would definitely keep me a little bit warmer. This might be it. What do you think? Okay, the colors of this romper just made me smile. It felt like a circus tent. So number one, you are definitely wearing plastic. <laughs> um, no pockets. I could see just wearing this whatever for, it's just, it's a play romper. It's fun. It does have ample room that I did not fill in in the front. So again, if you have a little more to fill this out with in the front, this is going to be a perfect piece for you. Just for that reason, this may not be a win for me because I'm not quite filling it out, but I still think it's so cute. It actually surprised me how cute it was. But keep in mind, you're 100% wearing plastic. Okay, then I found this box in my order. I cannot remember what I ordered and I opened it up. Oh yeah, it's like glitter shadow. I do like shimmery eyeshadow and glitter when I go out. I don't know why I ordered it because I ordered it last time. It seemed really cheap. I don't think this is where Timu excels. Let me put a little on my eyes. Meh, like I don't really notice anything. Okay, how about some of this other shimmer? Can I put it, uh, ooh, where should I put it? How about here on my chest? Okay, it's not blending. <laughs> This is terrible. I don't even know why I ordered it. This is going straight back. I'm never ordering this stuff again from Timu. Okay, of all the jumpers I've tried on today, this is my favorite so far. I think the color is great. <gasps> pockets, do the pocket dance. At this point, I'm not expecting pockets, but it's such a nice surprise. It looks almost bra friendly. I don't know if I would or wouldn't wear a bra because it's kind of peeking out a little bit, but you could have the option. It's shirred all the way around, so it's nice and fitted on top. Length on this is a little bit long, but that's fine. I can make adjustments. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one and then the other blue one will go back. We got this spray nozzle that's supposed to help with cleaning your pool filters. I don't know if any of you have a pool, but see the little, the little things it's supposed to get into the filter. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh yeah, that top that I tried on in green earlier and I got in black last haul. I got in white this time. This one, I feel like it's different than the green one though because it's ribbed and the green one wasn't ribbed. So they must not be exactly the same thing. It's a little see-through, but I think it's just so versatile. I love the sleeve on it because it feels like it's more airy than a t-shirt would be, but still covering the shoulders a little bit. So if you've got a burn or you just don't want to show all of your arm, I think the cap sleeve could be really flattering. Okay, what did I order here? It is a 
shimmery bomber jacket. This material is weightless. I'm guessing this is not gonna keep me warm and if it's at all windy, the wind would come right through, but look how cute it is. The sleeves are a little huge and long, but that's okay, I'll just push them up. Mm, no, that's not working. <laughs> that's a bummer. Okay, what if I rolled them up? Okay, that looks terrible. I don't know. This one may be a miss because of the sleeves, which is kind of a bummer because I like the rest of it. Okay, what's in this little box? Oh yeah, oh yeah, have you guys seen these? You put them into drinks and they light up with different colors. I'll show you with my tongue. <laughs> so for parties, you could have these little things in people's drinks and they're blinking. Aren't they so fun? Wait, did I just put something shipped straight from Timu on my tongue? Oh well, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> really? We also got a little bouncy bed for our French Bulldog. I don't know if you've seen any of the reels or TikToks where you, they have the little French Bulldogs bouncing in them and we tried it out with ours. He wasn't a huge fan, but we're gonna keep it out and see if he might crawl on it on his own. Okay, here's another piece with that kind of see-through, very light material. Why is it so long? I don't get it. It's got a hood. It's very cute. What? How would I? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm so torn. It's cute. I like the material. I keep thinking for our concerts. Mm, I don't know. Is it a dress? Is it a top? I don't get it. I'm confused. What do you think? Okay, and then because I hear ankle socks are out and crew socks are in, I decided to get some from Timu. I think these are fine. They're very thin and I'm sure they are polyester and not very breathable. So if your feet sweat or get hot, this might not be the right sock for you. But let me try them on and find out. Yeah, they're cute. I think they'll work. Let me try the black one on. You like how I'm trying this on? I'm like falling over. <laughs> I mean, I think they're fine. Again, I think you'll probably sweat a whole lot in them. So stinky feet people, be forewarned. This one is just like that bee sweater that I tried on earlier, except it has strawberry plants on it and it's kind of a pinky color. I think I like the coloring of this one better, but I think I like the bees on the other one. Just like that other one, it is a flat pattern. There is no embroidery. There's nothing raised on it, which is kind of a little trip. Which one do you like better? Okay, last I got this little hair thing. I saw a little video on it and it looked intriguing and now I cannot remember what it was. I'm gonna have to report back to you on this one. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to consider subscribing. And if you missed my last Timu haul, it's right here.